How to make an Albahar Tower Pasad Sunshade. Let's start. Go to File. Select New Family. And select Metric. And select Metric Generic Model Pattern Base. Open. Next, select the grid, select the pattern to a triangle flat, select, okay, select the grid, let's change the horizontal spacing to 500. and the vertical spacing to 800 uh, 866 sorry next S um, select reference point select draw on work plane and set work plane set the horizontal work plane pick reference point set work plane set work plane and pick reference point set work plane set and pick reference point cancel the command select all go to filter check none select reference point ok then go to offset pick the button let's create a new parameter okay let's name it height <coughs> okay okay Let's go to family types. Change the height to 800. Apply. Okay. Next. Select the two reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Next. Select the two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Select two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. <coughs> Next. Select these two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Select two reference point, spline through points, check reference line. Okay. Uh, cancel, select the, the two reference point. Line through points, check reference line. Okay, select reference point, <coughs> select draw on face, pick the vertical reference line. Okay, then select the three reference point. Go to normalize curve parameter, pick the button, let's create a new parameter, name it NCP1, okay, okay, next go to family types, 
let's change the value to 0.6 apply okay next select the two reference point spline through points check reference line select the two reference point spline through points check reference line okay select the two reference point spline through points check reference line okay select reference point select draw on face pick at midpoint 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 okay next let's orbit a little bit so we can see all the reference point okay select this reference point and this reference point spline through point check reference line okay now select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay now select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay select this reference point control and select this reference point spline through points check reference line okay select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay next select reference point pick here this rep and pick one here okay next select this reference point select host point by intersection and select this reference line okay next select the other reference point select host point by intersection and select this reference line okay next <coughs> so let's orbit a little bit okay next um, select this reference point and the center re reference point here spline through points check reference line okay next select this reference point and this point spline through points check reference line okay okay rotate the view okay okay now select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay <coughs> next rotate the view 
Ok Ok Next Select this reference point And this reference point uh, Is flying through points Check reference line Ok Ok Select the reference point and this point create a uh, spline through points okay check reference line okay let's rotate the view same with the other side okay okay select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay <coughs> now we need to add reference point again let's rotate the view okay next uh, okay select reference point select draw on face pick at this reference point ok next select that reference point go to normalize curve parameter pick the button let's create a new parameter <coughs> type ncp2 ok go to family types let's change the value of ncp to 2.6 ok next select that reference point again and this reference point is flying through point check reference line Okay. Next, select this reference point and this point. Select reference line. Check reference line. Okay. Next, select again this reference point and this reference point. Spline through point. Check reference line. Okay, now select this reference line, the three reference line. Okay, create a form and select the surface. Okay, so this is how it looks. So now select this three reference line. Okay, let's rotate the view. Okay close oh, select this reference line create a form select the surface okay rotate again rotate the view okay good Wait. good next select reference point pick then select the reference point go to normalize curve parameter pick the button and select the ncp2 ok <coughs> next select select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay next select this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay select this reference point and this reference point 
control tab to select spline through points check reference line okay now select the three reference line okay create form select the surface okay select this reference line the three reference line okay create form select the surface okay rotate the view okay rotate okay next pick select the reference point pick at, at reference line select again the reference point go to normalize curve parameter select ncp2 okay next select the reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line okay now this reference point and this reference point spline through points check reference line last select these two reference point spline through points check reference line okay Next, select the three reference line. Okay, create form. Select the surface. Okay, let's rotate the view. Rotate. Okay, so we can see it clearly. Select the three reference line. Control tab to select. <coughs> create form select the surface okay done okay let's go to front go to top okay let's see let's try the parameter let's select family type change the value of ncp2 to 0.3 okay good Let's go to point eight. Very good. Okay. Let's go to three D view. Now go to family types. Let's change the height to um <coughs> let's say five hundred. Okay. Let's change the NCP one to point five okay NCP two let's change it to point five okay next let's look at the three D okay perfect now select all uh, go to filter check none select the curtain panels <coughs> okay uh, let's create a parameter for the materials create new parameter type material finish okay okay next um, let's insert the the base or the leg okay let's insert the adaptive 2.5 open it okay so this is a 
two-point adaptive pipe load into the project go to family one okay pick at reference point here and one here okay next here and here okay rotate the view uh, insert again the two point adaptive pipe insert pick at reference point and pick here okay okay let's try the parameter let's change the height to say 1000 <coughs> millimeter okay good let's change the height again to 800 okay let's go back to 500 okay next uh, let's save the component name it Albahar <coughs> sunshade save load into the project and close okay let's go to 3d okay uh, go to massing turn on show mass okay let's select the mass okay let's edit in place let's select this existing one select the pattern okay select okay select the pattern and let's change it to Albahar Sunshade Okay, let's wait Okay, done Let's see the perspective okay now we can go to edit time we can edit some of the parameters okay let's change the let's change the finish the material finish okay Let's apply the orange, PVC orange. Apply. Okay. Okay, finish the mask. Okay, you can select the each uh, component. Go to edit type. Let's duplicate uh, sunshade two. Okay, let's change the NCP two value to point eight. Okay, so it's much open. Can select the some of the component control tab to select and change the type to sunshade 2 okay let's select this other one sunshade 2 okay and 
this one sunshade 2 ok now you have the finished Albahar Tower Facade sunshade thank you